Breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Try not to scream. Uh, yeah, hang on, folks. Probably got everything shifted. Hang on. Hey, come over. Come over that screen. That's doable. Holy shoes. Holy shoes. Uh, I got no stream at all. What's going on here? My stream just dropped. There, Kerr, try again later. Bark like a dog. Meow like a cat. I got to restart everything. Folks, if you don't know what's going on, this is a live stream on YouTube. Usually goes okay, kind of, sort of. Tonight, my computer... Okay, that looks good. So, of course, now I haven't got a... That knocked me right off my track of what I was going to do. Google originally uh, was bought by... Uh, YouTube was originally bought by Google. Or was owned by other people. And Google bought it. And that's where things kind of changed. But the first uh, four and a half years, nothing changed. YouTube worked perfectly. And it was 242 countries, and they all had their own uh, set of pages per country. And then there was the international, the worldwide pages. And so all together, worldwide, 242 countries, there was around 120,000 what's known as pages. And every 48 hours, these pages would be refreshed with new videos. And each page had uh, 20 videos per page. And it was five pages per genre of each category. And what that really means is, say, if you looked at music category. And so this is a YouTube. YouTube. So this was for you to talk to the world, to share your stuff with the world. Pretty cool. And so 242 countries, because each country got its own language, so to speak, and its own culture and its own ideologies that was an amazing system and so you had the top favorites per country every day of each category and you had categories like sports and music and education uh, you had uh, activism you had nonprofits you had uh, travel you had pets and animals you had news and so you could go to any country and you could get um, a good grip on what was going on in that country. Now you can go into any section of those sections and you would find the most recent. So if someone posted a video, you can go find that section of everybody posting under that category. And so that was really useful, obviously, if there was a catastrophic event, if there was celebrations, if there was breaking news in those countries. You could isolate it and everybody can get a handle on exactly what was going on from the people on the ground. What a revolution, what a novelty. And has that uh, changed the world? Of course it has, many times over. Well, in the last couple of years, YouTube ceased to work properly because Google has implemented a regime change of how this works. And But they still call it YouTube, and they still imply that you have an opportunity to get up on pages that don't exist because Google got rid of 120,000 pages and single-handedly because they have the patent on the buffering no other video streaming site out there can touch them and nobody can get their hands on the patent because that gives them all the power on the planet and what they've chosen to do with that is apply these wicked algorithms that destroyed the very foundation of what they claim exists. That, but it doesn't exist anymore. But they keep claiming the original foundation exists. So I'm just trying to build you a picture before I get into the Fukushima stuff. And we'll be covering that. And it's important that uh, people understand what's really truly going on here. And for instance, I lost 3,600 subscribers to Google. They said they were unused accounts. But they were all the people that would comment. They were all the people that would watch my videos. 
and I used to regularly get 10,000 views. I've taken a thousand videos off this site already. But, you know, it was nothing to get 10,000 views, and I knew all of these people. And when, as Google done that, they also got rid of around 5 million of my views. And so that's okay. I don't care about that. That's irrelevant. But I do care the fact that they got it, uh, and they done this to everybody out there, and they got it. The people that would talk, the people that would come and visit, the people that would share your videos. At the same time, they got rid of 122,000 pages, or you know, 2.4 million pictures or videos every 48 hours. But when you divided that up into the countries, the 242 countries, and into the sections, it worked out very well. And so every day you could figure out which one had the most conversations on it, which one what everybody watched. The, and this was uh, in real time. The numbers always changed in real time. There was never any delay. And this was done by algorithms too. But Google, of course, uh, has become the world's biggest uh, monster. The Android is now taking over almost all of the market. Even Microsoft now is coming out with an Android system, telephone. And Google done that by stealing everybody's open source stuff that was meant for good and incorporated, incorporating it into a system and then allowing people to use that for free but that would allow Google to get everybody's personal data because they own the operating system and does the updates and it gave Google another thing it gave them advertisement and now so a lot of people out there lose money on their telephones all the time these are these algorithms stealing pennies and nickels and dimes especially off children's phones because they don't know what's going on. They can't pay attention. Google puts all of its money in offshore accounts. It doesn't pay any taxes in your property. It doesn't have human rights, but they're manipulating a chunk of the slavery law. And what that does is the slavery law was created to free an oppressive people from a tyrannical government, and corporations like Google are using that same law, an amendment onto that law, an illegal amendment onto that law, to oppress the solvent people. And they say, well, you know, Google owns it, they can do whatever they want. Well, th yes, if they're forthcoming, if they're not sneaking around, and if they're not using weaponized isotopes, isotopes, weaponized algorithms to marginalize people and replace them with a handful of politicians, corporations, and celebrities. Now, it's not just Google, Twitter has done the same thing, Facebook had done the same thing where they have a platform and the community does well and then they slowly shift them all out of the way take away all their pages and replace everything with a handful of corporations politicians and celebrities but they don't tell anybody that you really truly don't have any more opportunities but they keep implying that you have the opportunities and this is how they get a lot of people in we use it as a platform and I have used this long before Google had it, YouTube. And it's the only platform out there with good buffering. And so everybody else loses their mind trying to watch any other platform. There is a few out there, but you have to pay a lot of money and people won't use it. So it's okay. It, it has uses when you link it up to your web page because people come to your web page. But people won't go to that site, those sites very much. Not enough. Because they charge large sums of money. And so Google has everybody bent over a barrel and has been implementing this change of algorithms that target people. That truly target people. And has been doing this in increments over the last two years to the point where now it's a weapon. Now Google became a weapon. And their Android phone has been a weapon. Google has acquired eight robotic companies and including Mark Rayburn's Boston Dynamics. And Mark Rayburn is the father of uh, robotics. He's the guy who worked out how to manage and marry hydraulics and computers and actuators together and actually have a light at the end of the tunnel. That's a massive uh, robotic industry, humanoid robotic industry. And he done this by your tax paying, by your money, right? They get grants from DARPA and so Google going out and buying DARPA's little sweetheart 
It's very um, telling, obviously, that they have become a weaponized industry themselves now. And that their algorithms have always been used to shut up Fukushima and to put out the dummies like Thunderfoot. And by the way, if you go check it out, like Thomas uh, Schoenberger had said, was that he looks just like the shoe bomber from Britain. Remember that guy? The shoe bomber from Britain? And remember, that was an Israeli security company, ICTS, that let him through. And remember that the underwear bomber was ICTS, Israeli security company, that let him through. And remember that the four planes, or the three planes that struck the towers, the four planes, the two planes that struck the towers, the plane that allegedly went to the Pentagon where you can't find no footage, and the plane that allegedly went into Shanksville, Pennsylvania where they never even recovered the bodies for the loved ones, all of the security at those four airport, uh, three airports, because two of them left one airport, were ICTS, Israeli security company. Very telling indeed. And But you got to realize that Google right, has sold everybody out on the planet in the hopes that they become part of the elites, that they become part of the trendies, and that we won't work it out, and that we won't can't we can't hold them accountable because they're so powerful. And that's true if you take into consideration of how they use their algorithms and how they've been using their algorithms, and how we seen, how I personally seen now, because I speak out every night almost on Fukushima and radiation and the lies and manipulations from people like Ken Busler at Woods Hole. Oceanographic Institution and Dr. Jay Cullen from University of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, and how they they come out and manipulate the data and lie to their students, lie to their academic, their communities, their universities, and their representatives of those institutions and of the the people that donate to them and fund them, and they have started up a network where they want you to send them soil and water samples, and they'll tell you, do you pay for it, but they'll tell you how much cesium, how much uranium, and everything else is in that soil. But the fact is, if you go look at what they say, they equate cesium-137 with potassium-40 like a banana, and I have proven over and over, and there is a link below this one, there's a several videos now about them showing how they uh, are able to manipulate it and they get away with it. And then they're put out by Google, they're put out by Facebook, they're put out by all the media, and they're put up on a pedestal, and their lies are propagated out that way. Well, that's what Google has been doing now, is where they got rid of Fukushima altogether. And it's just a very tiny, tiny, insignificant, very tiny, insignificant amount of Fukushima that will actually make it out there. And the only people that will actually be able to see my videos is the one that comes to my site. And that knows how to find it. That's truly was how we've been going along. Now Google has turned around and then my live views, the live view itself has been cut into half. Normally you get six to seven hundred because there's an analytic uh, part of it on the inside that you folks normally can't see. And I usually get six to seven hundred people on my stream every night. And the last week it's never passed uh, 350. A uh, couple of videos recently, one last night in particular, what happened, of course, was that it didn't show up for two hours. And this has happened to me a couple of times in the last few weeks as the preamble to the software. And the videos are stuck on 301 for 10 hours, when every day in the last month, in the last three months, none of my videos will get less than a 1,000 a day, which is just people, I got 12,000 plus subscribers. And so what they've got done is they're getting rid of the people. And I've had a lot of people in the last number of days telling me they've been unsubscribed from me. And, of course, I don't do that. Uh, they come back and they subscribe to me. Now, what's going on here is they're going after us, right? And what they're doing is they're taking everybody and putting them into that algorithm and then they're marginalizing those people. That's a fact. That's all they can do. And that's what they do very well. And this is because of uh, Eric Schmidt. Eric has an unimaginable education, unbelievable. I actually done about a 20 minute video to break down his whole history. It's a, it's a bit of a, I was having a bit of fun, but it's a good video 
if you're trying to learn about them. I do make a couple of slight mistakes in the audio where clink, clink. And so people have beat me up about that. But the information in it is solid as a rock. And I think that took me like five days to put that one together. But I wanted to give them the gears. And I did. You know, anybody that looks at that will understand what that person is actually truly all about. And these people uh, are part of the radiation lovers out there. They want to see the radiation kill most of the planet. They got their money. They want us all to go away. And so they can have uh, their fantasy life. What is frightening is that they're using the technology like Google Glass. And they're pushing that out there with facial recognition. And you remember me a week ago how I had talked about Google came after me with facial recognition. And if you're not fast, you'll click on the OK because of the way they set it up. You won't even realize you've done it. And then you can't reverse that without losing your mind. So we're being targeted in, in a lot of ways in a very, very dangerous, extraordinarily creepy and a unforgivable way, an unsustainable way that can only result in harm to us and has resulted in endless uh, revoking of free speech for everybody. And of course, in, just for in lieu of a handful of corporations, politicians and celebrities, they murder all of us on a system that they allege is for YouTube when there's no you here whatsoever. Right? The only people that get pushed out there are the corporations, the politicians, and celebrities. And they're shoving your, their ideology, which is what you see coming from every other mainstream media out there. There's nothing about it that is you. You can't put out a video and expect someone to find your video. It doesn't work like that. It has to be an extremely trendy topic to get 10 to 50 views on it for anybody out there. You have to be extremely trendy and you have to be extremely good to get any more views than that out there. When people are seeking out that information that you're putting out there, but they're unable to find it. And then if you are visiting Google all the time, their algorithms will only feed you so much. Now, if you go out and you're able to find the information on your own through other search engines, it will also feed you that stuff, but it won't feed you extra. And so it doesn't want to feed you what you're looking for. The first two or three pages under search are all prepaid searches. And so they suck everybody into the handful of globalist site that way. And they don't pay very much to get that privileged, okay? You know, think about that one. Google puts them there. Type in any name, any word into the Google engine and you're going to get a corporation. Type in any word and the first bunch that comes up will all be corporate, political, the same hacks that we are force-fed like prisoners, like dummies, like we're um, unworthy to uh, interact with each other. Like we're unworthy to be able to go out and find real information. I'm so tired of it. You can't use Google to search for anything. Every time I search, they feed me Woods Hole about Fukushima. And Woods Hole equates cesium-137 with a 300-year life will turn into potassium a couple of weeks later. But it has a 300-year life. It has a 30-year, what they claim is a half-life, but it's not a half-life because it's times 10. So it's 30 times 10 life. So why say 30-year half-life when it's 30 times 10 life? It's a deception, a 100% deception. They have natural uranium-235 in the ocean. That has nothing to do with uranium-235 from Fukushima. This is, this is going to destroy an ocean. And that should be forefront in everybody's mind. Because how else are we going to get anything accomplished? How else are we ever going to get anything done without having a debate? And if Google is going to censor us and marginalize people like me, one of the very few that are out there each night giving you real information... I'm not sugarcoating it, and I'm not making it up. It's the real deal. And so if they're going to do that to that very tiny handfuls of people out there, how is the information ever going to get out of there? Because what they're going to do is feed everybody Woods Hole. They're going to feed everybody Jay Cullen. They're going to feed everybody the, the creepiest things on the planet, like uh, Thunderfoot, the shoe bomber. So at what point 
would we get an opportunity to have a debate? Well, we won't have that point if Google is going to assault us and attack us with a weaponized military industrial algorithm. With a weapon, that's a weaponized algorithm they're using on my site here. They took away half of my live stream viewers in one in one night and never and in the last number of nights that hasn't changed. And then they destroyed the views immediately. They destroyed the ability of the video to come back out immediately, where everybody wants to come in and, and catch what they missed. Then they get around subscribing people to me constantly. They gotten rid of 3,600 of my subscribers. They gotten rid of 5,000, 5 million of my views, so that dropped me off the rankings. Not that I care, but I mean, is that important? If I earned it, why shouldn't I get to keep it? Why is it important to destroy me like that in in little in huge bites, getting rid of 122,000 pages worldwide and not telling anybody? And so people are still out there posting all their videos and have no concept that they don't have any pages to carry them on. And so, why is it so important to destroy that ability when they claim that's the ability that they gave you? That that's the ability everybody got. And people say, oh, you know, well, Google owns it. It's up to them what they do. But not when they're going to lie and tell everybody they have the opportunity and prove themselves over a five and six year period of just constantly now destroying everybody and feeding everybody a handful of politicians uh, insignificant celebrities and corporations. The same corporations you're going to get at Twitter or Facebook or at any of the mainstream media, including the, the ugly creature Huffington Post, one of the most hideous people on the planet. They all, they're all doing this to us when that's not what we seek out. That's not what we're searching out. We don't search out celebrities. We don't search out politicians. We're not sh searching out a handful of corporations, but they're insisting on just feeding everybody that and only that, and then if you go and buy into that, then they'll let you move up in the rankings, then they'll slip you out there and so you can have some encouragement. But if you want to have a real debate about something so incredibly important that it affects them, that it affects their loved ones, and it affects all the engineers, it affects everybody that works for Google. It affects their children, their parents, their loved ones, their spouses. Everybody they love will get cancer because we can't have a debate, because we can't have the opportunity to try to address it. And and instead, they're going to feed me people that are going to lie. So do we got to go murder Woods Hole Institution? Do we got to go murder the mouthpieces out there to get rid of them ourselves so Google can't do that to us no more? Because what will happen is they'll just replace these monsters with another monster. And so do we got to go uh, attack Google? Well, Google's going to attack you. It's stealing all your data from your cell phones. It's stealing all your data when you log in to every web page you view and not telling you. It's monitorizing the things you're doing. It's not asking your permission. It's weaponized against you. It's a weaponized machine being used against you by Google and they're, they're murdering their own family members by stopping this particular debate by stymieing this debate by restricting this debate and by destroying the people trying to have the debate that I never done nothing to them I don't know them I don't care about them I just want to have the ability because Google has the patent on buffering videos to use the service like everybody else without being attacked, without being having all my data stolen and then sold like a hockey card and then put me into an algorithm that treats me like I'm a ant. When you won't do that to my face, you won't be belligerent like that to my face in a public meeting because I'll knock your teeth down your throat. But you'll do it because you know you, there's no repercussions to take my name, to take my IP address and put it into a weaponized program. But you don't have the balls to come out and say it to my face. You, you, you don't have that capacity. You can't say, well, Dana, we don't like you. So we're going to put you in this fucking algorithm. So fuck you. We think you're shit. You, you can't do that. I could do that to you. Because it's true that I can, I can call you. But you can never call me out. But you can attack me the lowest form available by putting me into an algorithm 
and that will ultimately try to destroy us. Because we want to have a debate to try to save your ass, to save your children's uh, misery from misery, from cancer, to your grandchildren from cancer. Uh, we, 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 want to, we need to have that debate. We got Fukushima down there picking homeless up and murdering them and throwing them away like trash at the end of the day. You won't go down and do the job. And you'll censor them if they speak out. You'll put the algorithm against those victims. You'll put the algorithms against their loved ones, their children, if they speak out about what happened to them because of Fukushima. You'll censor them. You, you know, your children made the algorithm for this. The Google team that writes these algorithms, they know what they're doing. And so Google need. that's why Facebook has these big compounds where you want to keep everybody in the compound. Because they know what they're doing is so evil and so hideous and so monstrous and so wrong and so vicious, so violent and so deceitful, so hideously, hideously harmful. It's so maniacal to lie and deceive and manipulate and lull people into thinking that they're in a good place, to thinking that you're actually able to use the service properly and that the service is equal that your ones and zeros are somehow equal to the handful of corporations politicians and celebrities when that's ludicrous when that's obscene and these chicken necks these boot licking lap dogs these cowards these traitors these thugs with computers with the ones and zeros think that this is going to last forever that at some point that they're going to get something out of this by destroying everybody around them, by murdering their own children with radiation, by keeping the conversation from happening, by stopping that debate, that somehow that's magically going to be good for them. That they, that they think for some reason they're not going to breathe the same air as everybody else, that they're not going to be drinking the same radiated water and eating the same radiated food and getting the same tumors, the same cancers, going to the funerals, they think that's not going to happen to them. They know what they're doing, and they bought into it for a paycheck. Is that not the lowest form of human that we could never get to? The people with the best education, with the biggest checks, with the most prestigious positions, are mass murderers, are hideous fucking people, are the worst that society can produce, are the most loathsome things in our society are the very destruction of freedom, the very architects of our own demises, of their own demises, of their own children's demises and cancers. They're the very architects of it for a paycheck, for a weaponized algorithm. That's what Google is. It has no good anymore. It doesn't do any good anymore. It turned everything that was good that it has and that it acquires and everything that it acquires, like YouTube was bought by not paying taxes, by taking that money and putting it in an offshore account. That's how Google paid for YouTube. Instead of paying taxes, and so they buy up all the competition so nobody can escape it with the money they don't pay taxes on that they put in offshore accounts. And so they buy the people who engineer that and put them under their wing and then feed them propaganda and use them to enslave the population so in their little idiotic world that they can they think they you know that they can architect and engineer society and that they have the right to do something like that and it's only because of people like Eric Schmidt right and he's one of the Bilderberg groups he's the reason now why there's so much suppression on this planet his technology is sold to uh, countries all over the world to suppress riots, to suppress, you know, rebellions, suppress an overthrow of a corrupt dictators, to go out, for police to go out and find people to put on hit lists. That's what Eric Schmidt's uh, algorithms are really used for. They're used to target people in Afghanistan, the five million orphans in Afghanistan, Google probably got their algorithms, and if they speak out, a drone will probably kill them. That's how evil Google really is. It's targeting everything on this planet now 
with his Android, and at the same time, it buys up Boston Dynamics, Mark Rayburn's weaponized military industrial DARPA machine, right? And so he spent the the, the the humanoid robot out there, the one with the most money spent on it, and the most technology stolen from other countries and incorporated into it, is Mark Rayburn's Boston Dynamic, and Google owns that. That's the most frightening thing imaginable, because Google's track record is mass destruction upon freedom. It, it has been utter annihilation of freedom because of Google, in every sense of the word, and now your Android phones are spying on you. Now your Android phones have all the accelerometers, have all the sending units and sensing units into them, and they're weaponized against you. These devices could easily be used to detect radiation. That will never happen. Google could have done that a long time ago. That will never happen. But they can put all the sensors and all the... The, the a thousand engineers, you know, writing a program on how to track, trace, and database every movement of your body, the rhythm of your breathing, the fights you have with your loved ones, the debates you have with your friends. It's all recorded, and Google is stealing it all, every friggin' thing you say. And they're putting that into a weaponized algorithm, the most harmful thing imaginable. We will look back on this moment of time as where it was our one opportunity in life, our single opportunity in life to control our destiny. And Google was the one thing that stopped us. That's what we will look back on history and we will, if we don't do something. That's what history will show, that Google was the catalyst for our self-destruction because it destroyed the freedom of speech all on its own. For a handful of corporations, for a couple of hideous corporations for monster corporations they literally got an allegiance with the devil truly to destroy everything on this planet they don't care about humans they don't care about life on the planet they don't care about the good things on the planet they 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 are intent they are intent and they are intense they're google glass they're trying to get your picture and steal it anyway they'll steal it anyway they stole it anyway. They'll match it up to your phone. They know every friggin' friend you got. They know what you say at every one of your friends. They got algorithms sorting through all that. And it's not for good. It's not for good. You don't hide good things away. You put good things out in the light and show it off. Right? You be, you're proud of it. You talk about it all the time. People talk about it all the time. People don't talk about what Google is doing. People don't say Google is track tracing and databasing everything you do and that it's wrong. And at what point will this go one way or another? History will show that this was the moment. This is the moment in the history of humanity of where we chose our destiny or we became slaves, where we became cowards, where we became afraid to use our voices and use platforms for dissent. Where we became coward because Google would turn us over to the Stasis, to the Nazis that are our system right now, the thugs that are our system right now. That Google literally has nothing good about it whatsoever. It does nothing good for society. It fills children's mind up with puke. It destroys the ability to have a debate it, it cringes at freedom. It stole everything it's got. It hasn't paid for anything out of its own pocket anymore because all the money they're making is cheating it. They're cheating people on the, that are buying advertisement. They're stealing so much money off these people. They take all the taxes, they put it in offshore companies. They take lobbyists and they get the governments to give them more money. Your money. They use that to attack you and destroy you. They buy up competition like like the cowards that they are with your tax money. And at what point, you know, 
each community has all these mom and pop operations that are struggling and Google, no matter who, which community you're from, you go to Google, you type in something, it'll give you a big handful of corporations. It won't give you the mom and pops in your community. It doesn't support you. It doesn't care about you. It cares about you. It cares about you like a hockey card that it can trade and it cares about whether you're a threat. It's becoming a creature instead of control. It's not representative of anything, only a tyrannical system. It's become the hard and worst nightmare. It's being used as a weapon against people like me and people like you. It takes your IP and it throws that into a watch list. And then it tries to manipulate everything that you search for by feeding you a handful of corporations and that is intended to constantly brainwash you because you have to skip ahead a few pages to find anything else. But you can't get away from the words of Woods Hole. You can never escape on a Google search the words Huffington Post. Okay? You can't escape those words. No matter what you search for, in a page or two, you will find lots of Huffington Post. Nothing but celebrities, politicians, and corporations again. Or you'll find Twitter. Nothing but celebrities, politicians, and corporations. Or you'll find that Facebook You'll find all of their subsidiary companies only. That's it. Yeah. And now they rolled out an algorithm where 10 hours later I get, I go from 301 views. I got 300 views in an hour. My video didn't even show up for two hours. This stream you're watching now don't show up for two hours. And when it shows up, you get 300 views in an hour and you don't get an update for 10 hours and you get two fucking views. Two fucking views. Shut the fuck up, boy. I know what happens on this site every day. And the only thing that can change that is an algorithm. A weaponized, a weaponized algorithm. Four hours later, I got another two fucking views. 900 active videos on my site. Where I know what happens on my site. I've been using it for many years. I know how this works. And that means everybody else is being affected. That means everybody else is being destroyed by a military industrial algorithm. So a handful of people can get a fucking paycheck. So a handful of cowards, traitors, maggots, parasitic vultures feeding on you and your loved ones can have a fucking paycheck. It's the most mind-numbing thing imaginable that people will do something like this for a paycheck and destroy their own loved ones at the same time. Do they think what I talk about is a joke? Do they think they can't fucking breathe in that air or drink that water or fucking eat that radiation? Do you really think you can avoid it? Do you really think that your children are not going to be fucking affected? Do you think I want to be doing this every night? And to be shot down like I've been shot down by Google with their fucking algorithms doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing it because it's too important. I got no choice. I'm not doing it because I want to do it. I'm doing it because I got no choice because Google fucking exists. Because Facebook exists. And because Twitter exists. And because they're so fucking evil. I got no choice. But at least try. That's not going to be my legacy is that I didn't try. That I didn't do the best I could. That'll never be my legacy. I don't give a fuck. See, if we don't have people out there that are able to have the other side of the conversation, we're all doomed. We're finished. And Google got the patents. Right? They take the money they don't pay in taxes and they buy up all the fucking patents. And then they weaponize them against you and your loved ones. Why are they doing this? Why are you doing this to us? What did we fucking do to you? Why do you make money destroying me? Why are you making money destroying the people that are more educated than anybody out there in the sense of common sense? And it's not going to lie to you. It's not going to fabricate. I see it all the time on the internet. They're the victims. They're the victims. As soon as they start doing good... Google destroys them. Facebook destroys them. Twitter destroys them. Twitter is a weaponized site. Twitter is a weaponized site. When Twitter was started up, 
I watched an hour and a half interview of the dummies and an FBI and a CIA in an hour and a half interview saying how they're starting up Twitter and it's going to be a great site. It's the most ludicrous thing imaginable that a social networking site's partners are the military industrial machine, CIA and the FBI. What kind of society have we become? What kind of society could we become? You know, if we told the truth all the time. That's a rare thing. That there's an algorithm against that by Google. Don't tell the truth. If, they, if, they, if they're telling the truth, the algorithm has to destroy you, seek out all your devices, put viruses on it, track, trace, and database, put it all into data banks, and then share that for free with the intelligent community out there so maybe they can take you off their hands. Well, that's not their job. That's not their role. That's not their commitments, I hope. But it apparently is so. It's all too obvious that nobody will contain them, nobody will control them. The government gives them free reign and breaks all the constitutions, all the Magna Carters, all the Bill of Rights to accommodate them. And then their, their employees ultimately are the ones who have to do the work. Fuck every one of us. Destroy every one of us. Stick a fucking pair of sitters in every one of our heads if they could. That's what they're doing to us. They have nothing to gain on your paycheck. That's it. They're not going to get a fucking pension. No one's getting a pension out of this. The cancers are going to make sure of that. They're murdering their own children. They're going to, have to liquidate everything they got to pay for the cancer. And they're not going to be treated special when it comes to that. They get a pat on the fucking back now and to play with a ping pong table at Google and be Google's little prisoner. Google's watching them all. Google's spoiling them all. And soon Google will have the robotic industry. The most, the, you know, this is the changing of evolution completely that we're talking about. The robotic industry. And the fact that Google is insistent upon stealing everybody's data and marginalizing everybody and manipulating everybody and feeding everybody nothing but a handful of corporations, politicians, celebrities, the same fucking ones every day. It's non-stop. Under the illusion that you have the same abilities as your ones and zeros are equal to anybody else on the planet. That they're going to protect freedom of speech. That they're going to protect an open internet. Do you got any idea what I would do with one of these people's fucking heads if they said that to me to my face? If they had the balls to say something like that, that we do good at Google, to my face. I would eviscerate them in two sentences. If you want a free and open internet, why'd you get rid of 120,000 pages? And why didn't you tell people? Another short night. We'll go say hi to everybody. Goodbye to everybody. I'm so upset. And I'm not going to forget what Google is doing right now. Right? That's another part of the equation now i got to work through. Is who at Google is writing these algorithms? Who's implementing them? And what's their connections? And so I'll have the folder for that stuff. And I'll put that together along with Fukushima. And these people got to get out of it. These people got to get out of it. At some point, somebody got to do the right thing here. You know, you can't keep destroying us thinking this is not going to get you. Thinking the radiation from Fukushima is not going to fuck you and your children over. You're doing the wrong thing by destroying us. You're doing the, like the people out there that are, will watch this from Google that did implement these programs and that are using this site, this live stream as one of their test bids. You know, what are you trying to prove? What do you think you're going to get out of this? Do you think these people really care about you? Why are you enabling them to do this to society? Do you understand the carnage that you're creating, the damage, the legacy? Do you understand how many victims you directly create by creating those algorithms 
by implementing those algorithms? Why can't you go get a job with a normal corporation? Why do you have to work for someone that you know is bad, that you know is a military weaponized industrial complex? Why would you do that to your fellow humans, to your own children, to your parents, to your spouses, and to your loved ones? It's a question that you need to ask yourselves. Because I know what you're doing. And it ain't very fucking pretty. Hi, Bill. Yeah, whatever, Bill. Good for you. More people doing Fukushima videos. Fewer slices of the pie to go around. Shut the fuck up, boy. Shut the fuck up, man. You're nonsense. The fuck does that mean? You got any idea how fucking stupid that statement is? Yeah, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I'm winding down. Freaking kicked offline again before I even get online. Computer shut down on me. Who knows what they're stuck on the computer? It's shocking. It truly is. Freaking shocking. Well, hi, Miss Milky. Tracy. Adam. Cellini. Mr. Hemi. Aqua. Irinarell. Standing Foot. The Limp. Hi, Thomas. Scrollenberg. Gert. You'll find his video of my favorites. He's an unimaginably cool singer, folks. you got to go hear his vocals. Don't miss that one, okay? There's some amazingly talented people out there. He's freaking one of them. Big time. Go listen to his vocals. I know vocals, okay? That's amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, thanks, Aviator. Cats Alive, Mr. Oddberry, Candace, Sylvia, JD. I don't give a fuck, Bill. Don't say stupid shit. The fuck do you think I'm going to do? Fucking cuddle you or something? You think I'm here for you? Little slices of the pie. So I lose half my fucking viewers in one night. Little slices of the pie. There's less to go around. I get half my fucking views. Little slices of the pie. I don't get an update for ten fucking hours. And you're insulted because I call you out and say you're fucking stupid for saying it? You know better than say shit like that. Fuck off. I'll block you so you don't have to worry about it. I'm not here for you. I'm here for all the fucking people in Fukushima that ain't got a voice. I'm here for all the fucking victims that ain't got a voice. And if you can't put aside your fucking difference and stop saying shit like that, I don't fucking want you here. You're no use. All you're doing is causing issues. Oh, there's more videos going out. Like, fuck, there's more videos going out. Because I would find them. Because that's what I do all day. Every waking fucking moment. So who the fuck are you? Piss me fucking off with your nonsense. Hi, Missing Sky. Tracy. I don't give a fuck about... You, Bill. Because you're not actually who you say you are. You wouldn't have said what you friggin' said. If you're not trying to get the truth out, you don't say stupid shit like that because you get educated. Because that's literally the stupidest thing I've ever read. you got to remember, folks, we haven't got the time. We don't got the time anymore. We don't got any time. Those plumes have been coming here for three fucking years. They've been pouring into that friggin' ocean for three years. Do you get what that friggin' means, boy? Do you know what the importance of this is? They fake building four and send us a fucking brand new building. And say, oh yeah, no. Show us the welders. Show us the fucking construction. Show us the scaffolds or shut the fuck up. But don't try to tell me you've done something that's impossible. There's a million sievers right at the fucking door. How the fuck could you do it? Where's all the bodies? 
Do you think we're stupid? That we're just going to take your fucking words for it? That we can't fucking do the math and work it out on our own? That we can't do our own research? Even if Google is censoring all of us, that doesn't mean we can't go somewhere else and do research. And we do. I don't fucking use Google. I use Google to broadcast. Because they got the patent and the buffering. And it's the only site out there you can friggin' use. And people don't know any better. And Google ain't gonna fucking tell them. I'll see you folks tomorrow night. <laughs> not like getting the video angry. I don't care though. I'm not angry. I'm fucking saying it like it is. You're gonna come here and lie to me. And try to manipulate the people that are watching my video and claim that there's less slices of the pie to go around. You maybe should shut your fucking mouth. Don't bother coming back. I'll make sure of it. Because I'll block you right after this. Fuck you and the horse you come on. Bill. Google. And the fucking rest of them. I'm not here to play games. We're here to get a job done. And start getting on with reality and deal with it so we can have a debate. Not play these friggin' games. I'm not interested in that stuff. Take care, folks. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good or bad.